Greetings and salutations everyone, this is Tam Oshanter. Um, there is no game today, and this is also not an update. I thought I would do a vlog. And the reason for that is twofold. One, I don't, I mean, I have time to play a game and record a game, but I would like to go to bed on time. <laughs> and if I start uh, gaming, I am not going to go to bed on time. If I start talking, I'm probably going to go to bed on time. Um, or at least close to the correct time. Um, the second reason is if I talk any kind of gaming to anybody around me, their eyes gloss over. Um, uh, as I, s I, well, I don't know if I've said before. Uh, it may be on my little YouTube -y thingy. I don't know. Um, oh, also, I, I, I looked for the boys. Um, boy, I shouldn't call him a boy, I don't know if he's a boy or a young man or an adult or whatever, but Josh Alberts is my la uh, latest su subscriber, and I thought his name was Josh, but I'd only seen his name once this time, I remembered to write it down, so Josh Alberts, thanks for uh, the sub, and hi. <laughs> uh, but uh, I am a 56-year-old gamer, I'm 56, um, so my friends, particularly my female friends, uh, because I have um, I have about as many female friends as I have male friends or vice versa. Um, my female friends uh, have zero interest in any of this at all. They don't give a fat rat's ass. And they sure as fuck don't want to talk about it or hear about it. Um, my sister games a teeny tiny bit on the PlayStation 4. She's not very good at gaming, though, and so she doesn't want to talk about any of this shit either. Um, she likes the... The only games that she's really good at and that she plays a lot of are the Lego games, like Lego Harry Potter and Lego Batman and Lego whatever the fuck else they have. I don't even fucking know. Um, she did play a little Jack and Daxter and a little Ratchet and Clank uh, back in the day, so she's more of a... A platformer or whatever, but um, easier games where the puzzles aren't so hard <laughs> and so difficult and definitely not FPSs or anything like that. My brother-in-law does not play any games at all and he doesn't give a shit. Uh, my niece doesn't game. My niece used to play Sims a lot, but I mean that's not like a thing you play with other people at, that you talk about really. My nephew and I used to do a lot of gaming together, but um, since he's become a grown-up and doesn't live by me anymore, um, we will talk about video games, but right now I don't see him a lot. Um, he works in the same uh, field as I do. Uh, he, We have the same occupation, the same career. We do not work for the same uh, agencies. We do the same job. He works under the state umbrella. I work under a county umbrella. So we are completely different, and uh, his agency is a shit show in that they can't keep their staff. Uh, so everybody right now is working mandatory 10 or 12 hour mandatory 12 hour shifts. Uh, so I don't see him. I used to see him every Tuesday. We would get out, we'd off work. Normally we would get off work at the same time, start work and get off work at the same time. And our agencies are just down the street from each other. And uh, we used to go to uh, IHOP every Tuesday morning and meet up and uh, have some food and uh, chat for a bit. But uh, since he's working like 7 to 7, we can't do that anymore. Oh, on top of that, you can't dine in the IHOP. And oh, Actually, I think you can dine in the IHOP now, but it doesn't open until 7. Uh, I'm not going to sit around and wait till 7 o'clock for the place to open. Unless maybe I thought he was going to go, but generally that's just not what we've been doing, so that kind of sucks. So we, he does play on PlayStation and stuff, but we don't really play the same games very much, except for like Call of Duty. Um, we both play Call of Duty, the, the Call of Duty games, and also uh, like God of War and stuff like that. He really is more into, he's got a lot of Jack and Dexter, and he's a player in a... Is it League of Legends? Does that sound right? I don't know. It's some. It looks like a child's game to me, so I have no interest in it. But 
not, maybe it's not League of Legends. Apex Legends. I think that's what it is. Um, and he likes the Assassin's Creed series, and I played a couple, and, uh, you know, after a while it's the same shit over and over and over and over and over, and I, I get bored, <laughs> to be honest. So, basically what I'm telling you is that, um, I don't really have anybody to talk about games with, so I'm gonna bother y'all. And the nice thing is that I can talk and think y'all are listening, and y'all don't have to listen at all, if you don't want to. But I still get to talk about it. And pretend like maybe somebody's listening. And maybe somebody will. I don't know. I talk to myself. I also write to myself. So this is nothing new to me. I don't care. I write. I used to blog. And I blogged basically for myself. I didn't really give a shit if anybody read it or not. Um, some people did. Some people didn't. But that was a long time ago. Anyway. So that's the games uh, we got here. Um... I started just, um, I guess the background on gaming for me, um, I started with an Atari, um, but I didn't get it when an Atari came out because my parents couldn't afford to spend that much money on one thing for one kid that the whole family wasn't going to be able to use. That's one reason. The other reason is my mother thought that the Atari ruined televisions. And so they definitely weren't going to spend that much money on a device that they thought would then ruin the TV, which they would have to spend money to replace. So none of that was happening in my house. And it was uh, it kind of sucked because all my friends, my male friends um, growing up, had them. And, you know, so I mean, I, so I got to play, but I, I didn't get to play much. So when I was, like, playing with them, playing games with them or against them, they would just kick my ass because... They had hours and hours to spend with the machine. I got, you know, a couple hours here and there playing their stuff. And uh, that sucked. It really did because I really, really wanted one and I really, really couldn't have one. Um, <clears throat> uh, they did buy me one of those little handheld football things. I love football. And one of those little uh, beep, 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 beep things with the little red dots or dashes or whatever the fuck. And you were trying to, you know, wiggle the dashes to the end zone. I thought that was the coolest thing ever, uh, basically, because that's what I had. <laughs> Those were my options were either think this is the coolest thing ever or continue being envious of your friends for their Ataris. Um, I did end up with an Atari eventually. My friend, this is probably the late 80s, late 80s, mid, yeah, probably 80, 87, 88, somewhere around there. I'm guessing, I don't really remember, somewhere in that general area, though. Uh, my friend was going into the military. He was adopted by elderly people. He called his adoptive parents his grandparents. Uh, they only had one other kid, and uh, obviously he was old enough to be my friend's dad. They weren't leaving anything to this guy. They were leaving it all to their biological son. He assumed correctly, I might add, that uh, when he went into the military that he might not see his grandparents again. Um... <clears throat> Because uh, this is during the first uh, desert storm thingy. So, well, it was prior to that, actually. So, well, when was that? 91. So, this is just prior to uh, 91 when he joined. So, like, 89, 90, 88. I don't know, somewhere in there. Uh, but basically, what he was just giving his shit away. <clears throat> because uh, he knew he wasn't, he didn't need it. He was going to go out, he was in the military, he wasn't going to be needing all this crap, so he gave me his Atari and a couple of games, and then, so I was like, really cool, happy. Uh, by that time, you couldn't really find a lot of games for the Atari, and I didn't have a lot of money, so even then, I still didn't get to play, you know, like a whole bunch of cool games or anything, um, but I got to play a few. I like had Pitfall, I really liked Pitfall, the one, the, like, Indiana Jones type guy, um, so I like that. Um, I had an 8088 computer. That was the first computer I had. Uh, we were already in the Windows era, but I couldn't afford a Windows PC uh, because I spent most of the uh, 80s and the early 90s either unemployed or very, very under underemployed. So I didn't have the spare chains to spend on shit. Um, the only game that I remember playing on that for sure was Leisure Suit Larry. And um, that was a game that my, because I bought the, the uh, 8088 from my, uh, made by Magnavox. 
of all people. Um, I bought it for my brother-in-law's older brother, and uh, so he was getting rid of it. And uh, so I played uh, the game he sent with it was Leisure Suit Larry, and he may have sent more. I just don't freaking remember anymore. Uh, the 8088 that I had had um, dual floppy drives, so it was actually a pretty cool machine for the day. Um, I can't remember if that's the one I had the flight simulator on or not. I had a flight simulator that was, um, you know, had the keyboard overlays so that you could, you know, like do flaps and all of that shit. And um, it was a stealth fighter game. And um, basically what I remember uh, from that is that I shouldn't be a pilot. <laughs> so would be a very bad one. At least on an airplane, maybe a helicopter I could do, but uh, airplane, airplane, no bueno. Um, and it wasn't the flying part. I brought that damn plane. I got chased by MIGs after a recon mission, like three MIGs, and uh, they shot out my hydraulic system. I had failure on one side of the plane, well, not complete failure, but enough. And, and I still managed to get the stupid plane home, home even though. Just barely. I didn't uh, land it on the aircraft carrier because it was too broken. I just ditched it. And I got all kinds of awards and medals. It was pretty awesome. Um, but most of the time I flew back from the from a aircraft carrier base mission. I ditched the plane. And they would get really mad at me for, for killing the plane. But and the reason for that ditching all the time was I can't land. <laughs> can't land. I couldn't land on the ground either where I had a whole fucking runway, uh, but I really could not land on an aircraft carrier. Nope. So uh, I guess I'm like uh, Indiana Jones in that respect. Fly yes, land no. So it, don't get into an airplane with me. Don't ever let me convince you that that's a good idea because it's not a good idea unless we bail somewhere over water. Then maybe perhaps it would be okay to uh, be in an airplane with me, but probably not. Um, I went from a, that to uh, a, a Windows PC probably about a year later. I got really tired of the uh, 8088 not doing what I wanted it to do because because it was an 8088, basically. Um, and uh, I wanted it to work miracles that it just wasn't capable of doing. And that annoyed me. I was ready for a Windows PC, but I had to save money uh, for quite a little while. Uh, you know, computers were a little more expensive, uh, relatively speaking. And uh, once again, I was really poor, so um, I was extremely underemployed in the 80s, like less than $10,000 a year unemployed or unemployed or underemployed. Bad, bad, uh, bad, just terrible. Um, so I had, uh, I didn't have a lot of spare change for things, uh, but I did finally get a Windows PC. Um, I don't even know if I bought the first one new or if I bought it used from somebody I don't remember. Um, I almost want to say that I bought it used because I've never bought a PC from a store. Ever in my whole entire life have I gone into a P to like a Best Buy or Circuit City that doesn't exist anymore or Radio Shack that also doesn't exist anymore I don't think and or Walmart or any well, I don't shop at Walmart because you gross well, I've never gone inside of any place that sells a computer and bought a computer inside of a physical brick and mortar building um, so I think I might have got the no, I do remember now. I bought it out of a catalog, the first Windows PC. And I convinced my dad to pay for it because it needed a credit card and I didn't have a credit card. And even if I did, I didn't have the money to pay for it outright. But And I don't remember what company this was. But you could make payments. You could make like four payments or six payments. Maybe it was six payments which made the whole thing much more manageable to me. I got my dad to pay for it outright. 
No, he didn't pay, make payments because he bought it and then I paid him. Shit, I don't know. No, it was payments. He bought it on the payments and then I made gave him the money each month for the thing. That's what it was. I'm so confused. Do remember that I've been up all night while I'm trying to... And this was a long time ago. <laughs> so, uh, so I got that Windows PC. Eventually I sold that to somebody because um, I wanted a new one. I found the same catalog place. They had this uh, little cool looking all-in-one little PC and I thought oh that'll take up far less room uh, and it, it looks pretty cool and had a bunch of cool features that I don't remember anymore I just was really impressed with it it was kind of a teal color it looked really sweet and so I was like oh cool I think I'll buy, buy that one and so I did the same thing with my dad can you use your credit card to buy these things and then I will just give you the money uh, which he agreed to and then eventually I bought an Alienware after that one and I gave that one to my dad after a few years and uh, eventually it caught, when my dad was using it, it eventually caught fire and got pitched outside because it was uh, rolling black smoke it was a no bueno but it did last for like six five six years so that, I mean I mean I wasn't using it the whole time but you know pretty cool so uh, I uh, that's my mother's dog he barks at everything He's annoying as shit. He's also 14 years old, so I guess he can be annoying. You will probably hear her yelling at him before too long, because that's how that usually works. Um, I exclusively buy Alienware computers and have for many years now. Um, the latest one I got, it's shaped like a triangle, and it's farkin' huge, and it weighs about 70 pounds. And I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's the Area 51. I forget these things. But if you want to look on Alienware's uh, website, um, it's the big one with the triangle. The tri big triangle shaped one. Uh, and it has cool lights that you can program all around the outside. Which is cool. Um, and the trim that you can program. The little alien head you can program. So it looks pretty sweet. Um, I also have an Alienware laptop. Um, there are two other old PCs that are my original two Alienwares. Actually, the one I have right now the, is about a year old. So the one previous to that is on my floor next to the desk, and so is the one, the original one. Um, I had a hard drive failure in one. I think I fixed it, though. Basically, I replaced them after several years because they were just not working very nicely with technology, and it's just easier for me and faster and less time consuming and far less annoying to just uh buy something new instead of fucking around trying to replace things i may at some point um take those all out apart and add new things to them and maybe um like give one to my sister and brother-in-law maybe because their shit's old um but i also have two uh alienware laptops they're still running uh one is only like a year old or two years old actually I think this desktop is no I think the desktops like a year old and I think the laptops like two years old or maybe vice versa I don't remember uh, but I have my original Alienware laptop which is yeah. how old is that I gave a uh, I got it when my nephew was 11 and I know that because I gave my original laptop which was a uh, an HP that I bought at Circuit City used um, or returned. I like return things. And um, it was a nice little thing, but you know, I wanted a gaming machine. And after several years, I sold it, uh, didn't sell it. I gave it to my nephew for his 11th birthday. My nephew uh, in a few weeks here will turn 27. So that, that laptop's 16 years old. Uh, it still works. My mom uses it uh, to play solitaire because that's all she's capable of doing on a computer but it makes her happy to have it. Um, it's old, it weighs, you could literally murder somebody with it because it weighs like 70 pounds and it's a laptop. It's thick, it's about eight inches thick, weighs about 70 pounds. Uh, you could beat someone plumb to death with it because it's, hey, it's heavy. And it's so old that you didn't even have Wi-Fi built into your PC. Uh, you had to get a, you had a little slot with the little card you'd slide in. And then you got uh, Wi-Fi, very old.
very old. Um, so those are my PCs. Um, and uh, when I moved into Windows Gaming, then I started on... I mean, there were several games that I played in the beginning. There was one like a, with a blob thingy, but I can't remember what it's called. The same um, developer made Freddy Farkas Frontier Pharmacist, which is an absolutely ridiculous name for a game. But it kind of amused me to play. I don't think I ever finished it. I didn't rarely finish games back in the day. I would just play them because they entertained me. I didn't really plan on finishing finishing any of them. And I played... Um, it was the beginning of the, the Dawn of Civilization, which is the first game that I ever played where I lost hours and wasn't aware that I had lost them. And I mean, literally the first time I was playing um, Civilization, I thought I'd played for like... It was my night off. I was home from work. Middle of the night, I'm a night owl, so I was playing. I thought, started playing like at 10 o'clock. Got up to get uh, a, a drink or something and thought it was about midnight. And it was actually like 4 o'clock in the fucking morning. It's like, oh, holy shit. I should probably stop playing this and go to bed now. So, uh, yeah, that's still probably one of uh, the games. Now, overall... Um, that is probably the game I've played, put the most hours into, because I've played it consistently from its inception with the original Civilization, all the way up to Civ 5. I actually have Civ 6 because Epic Games was giving it away for free a while back. I don't have it installed, but I do have it. Um, I might check it out and see if I like it better than Civ 5. I like Civ 5 pretty well, though, so I don't know. If I'll end up liking six better or not. I hate change. <laughs> Sometimes change is good, but a lot of times it just sucks. So, um, overall, that's probably the game that I've spent the most time historically playing. Um, I played a lot of those Sims games uh, back in the day Sim City, Sim Farm, Sim Ant, Sim World. Is there one called Sim Life? Because I think there was. If it had a Sim in front of it, I would probably buy it. And then I eventually, of course, started playing The Sims um, when that first came out. Um, I think they're up to The Sims 4. I bought The Sims 3 and I didn't like it. Um, so I had a hard drive crash and I just never reinstalled it after I put a new hard drive in. Um, I play The Sims 2. That's the one that I like the best. Um, there's some things that I liked about The Sims 3, uh, particularly where it came to like like clothing and stuff, how you could change the fabric and the colors um, to make you know things look different. Because in the uh, the in Sims 2 you couldn't do that. Um, you had to go out and get mods and uh, put uh, lots of content in. Um, so being able to just change it. Obviously, you didn't have still the greatest amount of options, but you had more than original. Um, usually when I'm outside, currently anyway, outside playing uh, gaming while I'm out with my pups, um, I'm playing The Sims 2 because I don't have to think very hard about it. I just play them and enjoy. I don't, you know, there's not a lot of thinking involved. A little bit, but not very much. And uh, the re one of the reasons I like that so much is that game is because... Uh, I get to build things, houses, design and build houses, like, yeah, that just amuses me. You know, I build a house with an indoor pool, I build a house that has a bridge over the pool between two parts of the house. I just like building interesting architectural floor plan house stuff. That I could just have a game where I did that and didn't do anything else. What else? Like, um playing and expanding a family over generations. Um, what I do with The Sims 2 is the, in the community that I'm playing, which is usually one I create and is empty, doesn't have any people in it. I create 10 families, various races and whatnot, and various mixtures of children. Um, and I make the 10 families and then I each give them each a lot, build them each a house. 
and then I go in a row and play each family uh, for one in-game a week. And uh, so the kids all grow up at the same time. The kids end up marrying each other for the most part. And uh, I had one uh, game going where I was six generations removed from those original ten families. Now, of course, you're thinking, oh, I get all these genes, I get all mixed up. But um, as you play, you add, you know, maybe not necessarily another family, but maybe add a group of young adults. You can put eight people in a ha on a lot. You can have eight people on a lot. So, like, just create four dudes and four chicks and, you know, mix them in with your... Uh, already established families so that you don't get like uh, everybody looking the same because they're all related to each other things like that because in this game you it, if you click on the character's family um, it will show you their entire family tree so you can actually trace back who they were related to so that kind of thing is interesting to me um, a long time ago I used to play a game called creatures um, and I ended up liking Creatures 2 better, but basically what caught my eye about that game was digital DNA, because that kind of thing, just DNA in general, um, interests me. So you would raise these little creatures, and they would pass down their digital DNA, yada yada, so you could breed these little creatures, teach them things and whatnot, and they would pass down their traits. You know, some would be slow or smart or, you know, have this little thing over here or that little thing, you know, just basic, like, genetic stuff. Um, and the Sims, when that came along, the first game didn't, the first Sims didn't have any sort of quote-unquote digital DNA, the second game did. The first game, you're, you could have two, your couple could have a kid and they wouldn't look anything like either of them in the second, uh, Sims 2. Your kids would look like your, a combination of your parents, so that was cool. So then I never really played Creatures anymore after the Sims 2 came out, sadly. And that game kind of fit. I think there was a Creatures 3. But it kind of all got dumb and I didn't really care for it too much anymore. But, um... <clears throat> so I liked all of those Sim games. I, I really played the shit out of them. Um, I don't play any of them anymore. Except for The Sims. Um, Sim City, to me, I bought... I'm going to say it was SimCity 2000, but don't hold me to that, because I'm not 100% sure. And I played it, and I was like, oh, this is cool. And then I was like, this area you build on is so fucking small. And since I had played SimCity so long, since, like, the very beginning, I could have an up, a city up and running and growing really fast in a really short period of time. So basically, I would fill all the tiles, and then it's like, now what? I can't, <laughs> I can't do anything else. Well, that sucks. So I grew uh, really tired of that game and stopped playing it just because it wasn't fun. Because I wouldn't say I was too good at it, but there wasn't enough substance there to to hold my interest for uh, long longer periods of time. Um, probably one of the most uh, games that I play the most, and, and according to my Steam logs that I wrote this down yesterday um, 367 hours playing this game and that's just when I'm logged into uh, Steam because when I'm playing on my laptop I'm usually uh, not online with Steam or online at all um, so there's probably way more hours than that but um Cities, cities, skylines. Um, if you like, if you're a builder, if you like city building games, um, this one's really cool. You do need a powerful PC, a reasonably powerful new modern PC, because uh, it will bog down really bad if you don't have uh, sufficient go-go juice in your computer. Um, Particularly after you start adding on mods and stuff like that, uh, and the game has a huge modding committee, committee, community, not a committee. There may be a committee, but I'm talking about the community. And adding the mods really makes the game 
a lot nicer and a lot more manageable why the developer doesn't put some of these mods into the game when they update or release um, expansion packs because there are several of those too um, I don't know I wish they would but they don't um, I really enjoy building cities and city skylines I I wouldn't consider it a game to be perfectly honest I consider it a simulator simulation um, you can play it and really want to throw your PC across the room um, particularly if you don't have any idea about traffic flow in a city and how to map out roads um, because uh, fucked up roads are the fastest way to kill your city in uh, city skylines because the roads everything has to do with the roads I don't care what it is it has to do with the roads uh, so if you don't do roads good if you put in wrong kinds of roads roads that are too small for the traffic flow too large for the traffic flow you know if you put in a whole bunch of fucking stoplights and don't use roundy rounds or do your roundy rounds bad if you route your access to your city poorly uh traffic will fuck up your city really bad really fast and the reason that it does that is because traffic is connected to everything so let's say usually i keep my traffic right around i'm pretty good at it 83 to 80 to 85 percent say around there right around 83 sometimes it dips a little lower into the low 70s but i still think that's pretty good especially for this simulator if people can do better than that i bow down to them because it's a real pain in the ass and you just get some problem areas that at least no matter what i do i can't fix them or at least not completely so let's say that you've built a city and you have a traffic problem and it's causing traffic jams you got shit backed up all over the place first thing that starts happening is uh, your garbage trucks can't get around in a timely fashion because they're stuck in traffic so uh, garbage starts piling up on your streets the first thing that starts happening after that is your citizens start bitching because traffic is our traffic tr garbage is uh trash is bill, uh, piling up on the streets the second thing that starts happening when there's trash all over the place is that your citizens start getting sick because it's not cleanly and it's not sanitary and uh, your sick patients now can't get to the hospital because the ambulances are stuck in traffic with the fucking garbage trucks so now you have garbage piling up you've got sick fuckers everywhere spreading their sickness all over the place they can't get to the hospital so trash is still piling up sick people are everywhere they can't get to the hospital what happens when sick people can't get to the hospital the motherfuckers die well that's great so now you have trash sick people dead people trash can't get picked up because the garbage truck can't come sick people can't go to the hospital because the ambulance can't come dead people don't make it to the morgue <laughs> because the hearses can't get them so there are dead bodies now piling up in your street do you know what happens to your city's population when there's trash piled up everywhere sick motherfuckers everywhere and dead bodies laying in the streets people move the fuck out of your town that's what happens um the police can't get where they're supposed to going so your crime crime rates are bad shit burns down because the fire department can't get where it's going it's a it turns into a mighty cluster and it goes really fucking fast um, there are other things that can cause your city to fail really fast in cities skylines um water bad water not paying attention to your sewage system because you ha you have to set up the set up the entire city and city skylines you plot everything 
you decide what kind of zones, either commercial, industrial, or residential, you want to build, just like SimCity. Uh, Sim uh, you have to have your power plants run your power lines. You have to have water pumps and uh, whatever you call it, treatment centers or whatever uh, for the waste. Uh, you have to run all the piping for this. Um, so it goes where it's supposed to go. So everybody's got water and sewage and all of that stuff. If you put water pumps near pollution, ground pollution, it pollutes your water. It, the polluted water goes all through the pipes. Your citizens drink polluted water, they all get sick. Then we have another problem again, because now they get sick and they start to die. If a whole bunch of people start to die, even if you don't have shit traffic, your ambulances can't get to everybody, and your hearses can't get to everybody, not in a timely fashion. They may get them eventually, but, you know, once again, people are dying and piling up in the streets. Not good. Um, if you are pumping water into your water system downstream from the place you're shooting all the poo out into the water, into the river or the lake or whatever you're pumping water from, then your water pump sucks it back up and puts it, you know, it, it's a vicious circle. You have to pay attention to what you're doing in, the, in this uh, simulation. I'll call it a simulation. It's a challenge. It's also somewhat relaxed. Excuse me, I almost had a cough. Actually, I think I need a drink. Oh, goodness. Um, I find it somewhat relaxing, building roads and stuff. Um, if you go on YouTube and look, some people just build these fantastic, beautiful cities. Um, they lay out everything. They sit and plan how they're going to do everything. I just build organically. I kind of sit, start with a with an empty map and kind of have an idea of where I want to put things. Sorry about that. Now I'm getting hoarse and I'm going to start coughing. Which probably means it's about time to end this, but let me finish the uh, city skylines. Um, yeah, some people have really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Actually, if on Facebook they have a city skylines page, and uh, users will um, put in their uh, photos of their city sometimes, or even videos, and uh, some people just uh, bang up fucking job from recre recreating actual cities to just building like huge metropolis beautiful almost photorealistic cities it's freaking amazing excuse me as i said i'm organic i don't have deaths i just build i like to build so yeah um so i guess that's gonna be my vlog because a i should be going to bed and two i'm getting a horse um from chit chatting, and it's only going to get worse now that it's got started. It's my allergies. Mm. I don't have any allergy medication. I was, I think I said like a while back I was going to get some, and I didn't, so I, I don't have any. Uh, it's been raining a little bit, so it's not been as bad, but obviously, <clears throat> obviously, right now that's not the case. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Obviously, it's just me rambling. I would put a picture or a video of me up. I don't know why any of you would want to look at me, honestly. Well, there are some days I don't want to look at me. But I don't have a camera. Then I'm not going to buy one. Because <laughs> I don't feel like it. And y'all don't want to look at me anyway. Trust me. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comment section. Uh, if you would rather I never ever did this ever ever again, you can leave that in the comment section as well. Uh, don't feel obligated to watch anything. I don't know if I'll ever do another one or not, to be honest. Maybe I will. Maybe one day I want to board and I have a few minutes time. But if you want, um, you can ask a question about anything. It can be about games if you want. It can be about me if you want. Um... I'm open to most of them. I'm pretty much an open book. I don't really care what people know or don't know. For the most part, there are some things that I would not answer. Because um, I don't know all y'all. <laughs> I don't need any 
any creepy people. Not I'm not implying that any of y'all are creepy, but uh, yeah, Let's, there's some places we don't need to go. But a uh, general things, I if you want to ask a question, ask away. I'll decide whether or not I choose to answer it. Probably I will. Maybe I won't. But uh, that can be a uh, question about me. It could be a question about gaming. It could be a question about my job. Uh, hobbies. Whatever the fuck. I mean, whatever you guys think you want to ask or feel like you want to ask or what the hell ever. Um. So I'll leave that in the, in the comment section if you have any desire to do so. Uh, I'm, op I'm open for it. Um, but I really do need to go now after I've babbled along for 40 minutes. Holy crap. <laughs> I was planning on going 30, but look at us now. Going for 41. So, um, yeah, it's July 1st. Have a happy July 1st. Have a happy Independence Day. I assume everybody's from the U.S., but maybe not. Um, if you're in the U.S., happy Independence Day. Um, coming here, um, I don't know how much I'll be around after tomorrow, until after the holiday's over. Um, hopefully, I'm able to, to at least put up a video or two. I'm on schedule so far. I did a Monday and a Wednesday. But we'll see about how Friday works out. Friday should be okay, because it's the day before the 4th, so. We'll see. Alright, here we go, going for 42. Well, I'm going to end there. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, any of that kind of stuff, anything you'd like me to talk about, if you'd like me to just shut up and never talk again, that's also cool. Leave all that stuff in the comment section. I really do need to go. Y'all be good to each other. Stay safe. Be nice. Don't be a dick. Wear a mask. And all of that fun stuff. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.